Over the course of the past 21 years, the Fast and Furious franchise has transformed itself from a movie about street racing and boosting DVD players to one of today's most profitable and off-the-wall cinematic experiences with a slew of sequels, spin-offs, television shows, video games, and more. During that time, the movies have also gone from moderate box office successes to absolute juggernauts, with Furious 7 and The Fate of the Furious both eclipsing the billion-dollar mark worldwide. Even F9, The Fast Saga, which was released in a pandemic, brought in a large chunk of change upon its June 2021 theatrical release. All of this is to say that the franchise is here to stay, for a few more movies at least, with its 10th main installment, now officially known as Fast X, on the way. But before you grab your Corona, Von Dutch shirts, and start tinkering with your Dodge Charger, here are some things you should know about the ridiculously expensive blockbuster. Fast X will be released May 19, 2023, which seems like one hell of a way to kick off the summer blockbuster season. If we were living in an alternate reality, we would have already seen Fast X in theaters and on Blu-ray by now. It was originally slated to open on April 2, 2021. Jason Momoa's Fast X character is a villain. Jason Momoa as Dante in Fast X. Over the years, the Toretto crew has come face to face with its fair share of furious villains ranging from Johnny Tran in The Fast and the Furious to The Cypher, who has become a perennial thorn in the side of the gang since being introduced in The Fate of the Furious. This time around, Dom and company will add another foe to the rogues gallery with the introduction of Jason Momoa's Dante, a mysterious, flamboyant, and incredibly explosive criminal mastermind with ties to the group's past. In an interview with Total Film in February 2023, director Louis Leterrier confirmed that Dante is the son of Hernan Reyes the ruthless crime lord at the heart of Fast Five who was killed by the Toretto gang when they were carrying out the film's memorable and over-the-top heist sequence, thus serving as a connection between Fast X and 2011's Fast Five. And years after his family was destroyed, Dante is coming back to do the same to Dom Toretto and the rest of his family. Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Sung Kong and other members of the Toretto crew are returning. During a June 2021 interview with EU, Vin Diesel revealed that franchise newcomer Cardi B will be returning as Lisa in Fast and Furious 10, this time with a more expanded role. More casting news came in March 2022 when it was revealed that the Suicide Squad breakout star Daniela Melchior joined the franchise in an undisclosed role. Captain Marvel star Brie Larson, who previously pitched herself for the franchise, was revealed to be joining the Fast X cast in an Instagram post by Vin Diesel. It has since been revealed that Larson will play a government agent of some sort named Tess. We will also be introduced to a new member of the Toretto family, as Rita Moreno is slated to appear as Dom's grandma. Vin Diesel has said Fast and Furious 10 is split in two because there's so much ground to cover. The Fast and Furious franchise isn't for everyone, but no one can take anything away from the way the series has continued to up the ante over the years, going from the streets of Los Angeles to outer space and everywhere in between. This need to constantly up the bar is one of the reasons Vin Diesel said Fast X needs to be told over the course of two movies. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and if you like the video please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.